a few more lawmakers from our area with <coughs> Andrew here on some quick takes in the president's address. Andrew? And we're joined by Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut. Congressman, your thoughts on the speech? A lot of proposals from the president tonight. Yeah, and, you know, I was particularly happy about the central core of the speech, which was let's get the future of jobs right, education, job training, community colleges, infrastructure, you know, stuff that has traditionally made this country wealthy. So I was, I was pleased with the speech tonight. Is it much different from what we've heard from the president in previous states of the union? I mean, it, it felt a little bit like, you know, we'd heard jobs proposals from him in the past. We'd heard other innovative proposals. Recycled or, or fresh? You know, I, I, some of that stuff is enduring. I mean, you know, look, fixing our educational system, that doesn't change day by day. I thought that his concentration on climate change tonight, um, look, unless you're in our area of the world, New York, New Jersey, with the snowstorms and, and Sandy, that nece that's not necessarily a national issue. But he took a couple of paragraphs there. So I was pleasantly surprised that he took that tack. I was watching Speaker Boehner and the Republicans in the House or in the chamber as much as I could. There weren't a lot of coincidental applause. Do you think any of what the president proposed is actually going to get through your chamber, through the House, with the Republican leadership? You know, interestingly, there was strong bipartisan uh, applause for the immigration reform uh, proposal. Even, I will say, and I was sitting next to a Republican, uh, my, uh, my friend from uh, Virginia, Scott Riggle, even for an earned path to citizenship with the, uh, you know, penalties and getting in the back of the line and stuff. So actually, immigration drew substantial applause. And then, of course, the things that always draw substantial applause, like taking care of our veterans. And, and frankly, you know, I was a little taken aback by the intensity of the applause uh, around the exit from Afghanistan. I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody was on their feet in both parties when the president was saying we're, at, we're, we're out of Afghanistan. Interesting. Congressman Jim Hans, appreciate it. Good to be with you. Rich, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much.